Hi, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Today, we're gonna be diving into how to create really smooth, amazing transitions that are really gonna blow your client's mind, or your own, maybe. Hi, my name is Tyson. I'm a mastering engineer here at Dinosaur Dog Mastering. And today we're going to be looking at some transition effects that we can use really nicely to create movement inside of our songs that are it's very simple to do, but add so much character and movement to our tracks. That's really going to impress your clients. But before we dive into the actual transition technique, I want to let you know I have a free checklist for you. It is the ultimate mixing checklist. You can get that in the description of this video. It's the first link should bring you to a page where you can download that. All right, with that said, let's dive into the technique to create really smooth, amazing transitions that's going to blow your client's mind. Today, we're going to just show you a quick trick on how to make a really interesting transition into a new section of your song or even into the intro of your song, especially if you have lead vocals that start right away. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the first syllable or first word of this chorus and making that into an intro and you'll kind of see how that works as we move along. We're gonna be adding some reverb, so it'll a reversed reverb, so it'll come in and be very creative. It'll feel like it's moving into the chorus. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what this sounds like right now and then we'll be able to A-B it here for you after we make our change. Here is the chorus transition or verse two chorus transition right now. So as you can hear, we already have some elements there that are kind of fading in, but they're kind of subtle. It's just the guitar. And so I want to add some more to that to make, make this transition a little bit smoother and just more airy. What we're going to do is we're going to dive into our lead vocal here and we're going to just steal this first word. And so this is, I'm just using the marquee tool right now. And then I'm going to hit control B and that is going to allow me to bounce this lead vocal section onto its new track, okay? And so that contains all of these three lead vocals that are coming in. So here's our lead vocal. Come, come. We're there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of fade here just so it doesn't come in quite so abruptly. It probably won't matter, but it's all right. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add, to reverse this, we're going to hit E and pull up our editor. We're gonna to go to the file section. Under functions, we'll hit reverse. Alternatively, you can hit control shift R and now we have a reversed vocal. Okay. And now we, what we wanna do is add some reverb to this. So let's go open up our mixer by hitting X and we will grab our reverb. It doesn't really matter what we do. Let's just do space designer. This is probably fine here. We don't want any dry in here, just wet. Let's make the length of that just a little longer. That is a little too long. Now I'm going to bounce that in place again by hitting control B. And now I have essentially the reverse vocal plus the tail to it. And what I wanna do here is open the editor panel again by hitting E, go to functions and reverse again. So now it's back the way it originally was essentially. And then we're gonna place it right here so this should have, that should be the start of the phrase that we originally took. We're gonna delete that and add a quick little fade here. Might have cut it off a little too early. Let's back up just a tad there. We don't need this one, so I'm gonna mute it. And here is our new transition into the chorus. Oh, no. Yeah. 
So it's not really too obvious, but it's really adding just a little bit of flavor, a little bit of push into that chorus, and it feels really nice. So uh, feel free to use this technique on pretty much anything you want. Uh, I. I see it often on snares, on cymbals, on obviously vocals, and then anything else really that makes a big impact at any one point part of the song, you can kind of lead into it with just this really subtle effect. So very cool uh, production decision that you can make and really add a lot to your productions just by using this technique. All right, thanks for watching. And if you found this at all helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe as I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you get more professional mixes. I'll see you in the next one.